So ko so buong tao. Friday morning here in Vietnam. We arrived in Vung Tau last night um, after traveling from Bean all day, so traveling flight to Ho Chi Minh and then a two and a half, three hour drive down here to the southern part, all for the purpose of getting to the beach. And it's beautiful weather here. Woke up, it's about eight o'clock right now and it's already about um, 28 degrees outside in Celsius, so a bit about 80 degrees in Fahrenheit. So really excited to finally be in warm weather, right by the beach right now. And we're off to go search for some bicycles and we're gonna bike around this little, it's like a peninsula area. So we're gonna bike around, maybe go swimming and go shopping, find some cool things. And So we'll go to the, the market and get some good food. Mm. Okay, so let's get started with today's ride or first hunt, we gotta find some bikes first. Sprinklers keep blocking our paths to try and get over here, but we finally made it to the beach. Found some bikes. So I think these will probably be able to do the job. Here's our lock. <laughs> And we got our bikes for today, about $3 for the full day for each bike, so $6 total. Bike was $5 for the day, but it's going to be more fun on the bike, we think. Here we go, time to begin our ride. We're going to first do a little loop around the beach area and find the other beach. So let's go. Saddle's a little bit low, as you can see, but make do. First quick stop, climbing this hill on the southern part of the peninsula. Found this cool little island. And check it out real quick. As you can see, there's this little mountain hill behind us with a Jesus statue up at the top. I think next we're gonna try and get up there. Oh, and there we go, there's the Vung Tau sign. So there's the island over there. Apparently, you can get over there when the tide is low. So at night, we might be able to go over and walk over there and check it out. So yeah, it looks like there's a little temple or shrine over there. That's the beach where we just came from, where we biked, um, where we bought our bikes. Beautiful view over here. Next up, we're going to try and get to the top of this mountain and find the giant Jesus statue. You go. All right, we found the spot to climb up to the Jesus statue. So we're gonna park the bikes real quick. Bikes are dropped off. Time to climb. Santa's also climbing to Jesus. <laughs> Stated earlier in one of the previous Vietnam videos I made, just one of the surprising things since coming here was just didn't realize how big Christianity was. And you can really see that here with a whole mountain dedicated to Jesus. <laughs> a little bit more to go. Genki na pose de hashite. Tun's a little upset because we decided to climb the mountain without eating any breakfast. <laughs> but it's okay, because she's tough. Yeah. 
Final steps to Jesus. All right, we made it to the top. But it looks like you can even go further. There's some people up at the top of the statue. It's got it on it. So here, I guess this used to be a, a battle fortress of some sort because they've got the cannon, pretty huge cannon here, which is really cool because I've never seen one this size, this up close. This thing's massive and built around the perfect circle so it looks like they can get some pretty good accuracy out of this thing. All right, we made our way to the back of Jesus, which is apparently the entrance. And we gotta take off our shoes, go in, and we're gonna climb up to the top. Last set of stairs. If I make Tuan climb anymore, I think she'll kill me. So you gotta take off your shoes and your socks. And apparently, you're not allowed to climb with short pants. But if you're a foreigner, it's somewhat forgiven, but they wouldn't let her in because she's Vietnamese and she should know the rules. So unfortunately, it's just going to be me going up to the top. It's a really narrow staircase. Not enough room for people to go up and down at the same time. Really tricky when big groups are coming down. Just finished hiking the Jesus statue. Really small, narrow space climbing up, um, single file staircase, and lots of people going up, lots of people going down at the same time. So didn't want to film and talk too much while I was in there. Um, but as you can see from some of the video I took, uh, view, really spectacular view up at the top. You can see the whole um, beach, coastline, and city type area. And once you're up at the top, it's really small, narrow area. You don't have much space for moving and really kind of scary because there's nothing protecting you from falling off the ledge or anything but anyway really glad I made it up to the top unfortunately Tuan couldn't go see it but I took a bunch of pictures so we can show her later anyway she's really hungry so we're gonna descend and go hunt for some food got our bikes time to go Pretty excited to get some Hawaiian pizza, one of my favorites, but they don't really have it in Japan. No. I see. I see. Look at the Halfway there. We got some drinks to wash down the pizza. I'm splurging a bit today. Pizza's about $15, drinks are about $2 each, so $20 meal, which doesn't seem like a lot in the US, but in Vietnam, that's a pretty expensive meal. Just finished our pizza. Finished the whole thing, L size. Pretty impressed. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you skip breakfast and climb a mountain. Anyway, they have a <laughs> pretty big party going on right now with a DJ and a dancing pizza. That's one of the reasons why we stopped here, just because it looked pretty entertaining. I guess it's their opening day today, first day, so good pizza, good uh, solid recommendation. If you're looking for pizza and you're in this area, definitely stop by. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna continue on, try and find a street market, buy some bathing suits and hopefully hit up the beach. Hopefully stomach's not too big now from uh, eating too much, but uh, journey continues. Here we are at the first market of the day. They're pretty stuffed on pizza, so probably not gonna get any food right now. But just scouting, seeing if we can find things that we want for later. Also, we're 
looking for some slippers that we can wear as well as a bathing suit since neither of us brought a bathing suit here. Mostly food here though. Lots of seafood, which makes sense. Didn't find anything we wanted at the little market. So we're gonna stop over by the beach here. Window shio. Window shio. Quick break, work off the pizza. Gambate. Ya te mite. Dekiru. Hmm. Nani sa? Iku. Dekida. Okay. <laughs> We're going to head back to the hotel, try and find a bathing suit that we can buy and go to the beach just because it looks sort of tempting, we want to go in. Got our bathing suits, time to head back to the hotel, change, and head to the beach. Returning the bikes, gonna go and walk off for a dinner tonight. Found a spot for dinner. Ordered some arrangement of seafood, some crab, fish, and rice and vegetables. Not quite sure. I left it all up to her, so we'll see what she ordered. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Uh, we're pretty tired from eating all the crab. A lot of work, especially since there were no tools here. We had to bite and eat it by just rough it out. Really good though. Time to move on to the next spot.
We're gonna end the vlog here today. It's been a great day. Rented bikes, went around the city, saw a giant Jesus statue on top of a mountain, ate some crab, ate a bunch of pizza, and biked around. Just had a great time all around today. Now we're just going for a little walk, drinking some hard ciders, which isn't really a thing in Japan right now. So taking advantage of it here, it's only about a dollar per bottle. So we had a lot of fun today. And we've got another full day here tomorrow where we're going to rent a scooter and go around and check out some other sites. So check back in then. As always, thanks for watching Chua Cruise and see you in the next vlog.